to you from 1 Kings 19th chapter. Not if you put it up on the board. We're talking about Elijah now. He called fire down from heaven. Jezebel's upset with him. He's been in the cave and now God's telling him to depart and go elsewhere. So Elijah departed thence and found Elisha that a son of Sephat, who was plowing with twelve yoke of oxen before him. And he with the twelve, Elijah passed by him and cast his mantle upon him. And he left the oxen and ran after Elijah and said, Let me, I pray you, kiss my father and my mother, and then I will follow you. And, and he said unto him, Go back again, for what have I done to you? And he returned back from him, and he, he took the yoke of oxen, and he slew them, and he bore the flesh and the instruments of the oxen, and gave to the people that they did eat. Then he arose, and he went after Elijah and ministered unto him. Father, would you touch your servant one more time? Would you just add that special anointing that makes preaching easy one more time? Would you... Allow this word that you've given me to fall on good ground today. Father God, as we've come to worship you in spirit and truth, and we've come to bless you, and we've come to have our very first service of this brand new church for the glory of God, we ask you, God, that the word would stand. And you said, upon this rock I'll build my church, and the gates of hell shall not, cannot prevail against it. And God will give you 
praise in the name of the Lord, and, and we thank you over and over again. Amen and amen. As I, I thought about this, and I, I thought about Elisha plowing in the field, and, and if you'll put that up there, Matt, pushing the plow brings blessings. As I thought about plowing, understand today they got big John Deere tractors. These tractors are run by computers. All the farmer has to do anymore is put in a couple of numbers. And you ever wondered how they, they get the rows so straight and they get them so straight at, at, straight at a long distance? It's because today it's all computerized and the farmer just puts in the number and he, he, he allows the tractor almost to steer itself. But back in those days, you had to push to plow. Anybody have any idea what I'm talking about? Even before the oxen, when a, when a farmer couldn't afford the oxen, he had to push the plow. He had to break up the fallow ground, and he had to be faithful because, see, Isaiah said, does the plowman plow all day to sow? Does not he open and break the clogs of his ground? In other words, in, in order to something to happen, you got to break up the ground. In order to plant a seed in the ground, you got to break up the ground for it to be able to grow and to prosper. And that's exactly what's happening here at Treasure Coast this morning. We're pushing the plow. And, and as I thought about Elisha uh, pushing the plow, it does not say how long he pushed the plow. It doesn't say if he'd been out there for months. Does it say if he'd been out there just for a few weeks? But the Bible said Elijah found him plowing in the field. Church, let me tell you something. This walk with God is like plowing the field. It takes a faithful servant every day. There's going to be times you run into stumps. There's going to be times you run into a rock bed and you can't get that plow through it, but you don't stop and quit and go back to the house. You keep persevering. You keep pushing. I've come by to tell somebody, pushing the plow, saying faithful unto God will bring you blessings. Can somebody say amen? Somebody give him a praise in the house. See, this generation, <laughs> it, it, it's become an entitlement in generation. <laughs> I come from the old school. You work for what you get. Nobody gives you nothing. Today, men want to sit home and play video games and send a wife out to work. I don't have time to get on that horse this morning. Because that disturbs me and I don't want to get angry while I'm preaching. <laughs> but as I thought about this, pushing the plow. Elisha had been pushing the plow. God knew exactly where Elisha was. God knows exactly where you are. I was talking to a, a minister friend the other night and we was talking. and He'd been struggling and been struggling and been struggling. And, and he said, Pastor Franklin, he says, he said, I've watched your life, and I've seen, you, I've seen your ministry, and I, I've seen you sell peanuts. I've seen you sell produce in the ministry, and nothing seemed to ever happen. But all of a sudden, God began to bless you. Let me tell you, my friend, if you stay faithful, if you push the plow, even when adversity comes against you, even when sickness comes, there's some of you pushing the plow today, and adversity has come against you so bad that you want to quit up and say, it is no use of keeping on. But I've come by to tell somebody, if you get behind the plow of the, of the Lord and begin to push that plow and begin to push that adversity in there, begin to tear up that pile of ground, God is going to bless you. It is His Word. He said, when you're faithful, I'll pour out my spirit, pour out my blessings upon you. Can somebody give Him a praise? See, the Bible said faith without works is dead. <laughs> wow. I thought I could, but I, I can't. Yes, you can. I can do all things through Christ who strengtheneth me. With God, nothing is impossible. 
I will trust the Lord. I will not lean to my own understanding. I will look to the hills where my help cometh from. My help cometh from the Lord. As I begin to pre prepare this message, I begin to think about pushing the plow. I had grandparents. I had aunt and uncles that were farmers. They pushed. I had a, on my mother's side, I had a, a, an uncle that pushed the plow. I know what it is to watch them, watch them and adversity comes against them. Some of you have had all kinds of adversity coming against you. But I come by to tell you that the Bible said that a, a man that put his hand to the plow and turns back, he's not fit for the kingdom of God. God has called you to push the plow that he can bless you. Can somebody say amen? Take a praise break in praising this morning.